Okay guys, uh, I thought I'd do another quick one. This one is kind of pointless. A little fun to try and do. Uh, no real practical use that I could think of. Okay. So what I did, really pointless. It was a fun learning experience. But if you notice, I have a removable disc with the flutter coin icon. This is pretty old school. I'm sure a lot of you will know how to do this. But basically, I have a flutter coin client that runs right from a USB drive, data directory, and everything. Let me fire it on up for you. Okay, that was an utter complete failure. One second. You don't want to <laughs> click those, so what I'm going to do real quick. Come on. Okay. Now we got that. I'm gonna edit my files here. I think that should work. Actually, I might need... It is a little bit slower to start up from USB. I'm using an old USB thumb drive, just a spare I had. I would suspect that USB 3 is, uh, is a much faster than this, so. But there we go. Nothing going on. I've never used this wallet, brand new. Uh, just quick, simple, dirty stuff.
though. Nothing really special. The changes I made, I'll explain a little bit here. Yeah, go away, Avast. Of course, you're still gonna fire up, aren't you? The way this works is if you see the percent till D0, that is telling Windows to launch from the drive I am running the script from. Just a Windows batch file, nothing special. Like I said, a little old school. And that's how it knows where to put the data directory. So it doesn't matter what letter this is, it's always just gonna work right for you. So, your wallet, your messages, it's all there for you. Uh, I can release this if anyone wants it. Actually, I might and just stick it up on Dropbox for you guys, so. I hope you guys enjoy it. And have a good one.